shop, Erin. Huh? How come? Mom! Andrew. Are you picking on your sister again? Yes. Whoa. First he locks me out of the bathroom. Then he hugs the TV. Fine, I can handle that. Then he chases me around with his dirty T-shirts. Oh, I did not chase you with my dirty T-shirts. It was my dirty socks. I can't leave you two alone for two seconds, can I? Oh, I just spoke to Benjamin at the community center, and he said to thank you for getting those flyers up for him. He also says everything's set to go with the teen hotline. You should be there in one hour, okay, Andrew? Andrew? Clements. Why do you always drag me into these stupid goody-goody projects of yours? It's not my stupid goody-goody project. It's Dr. J's stupid goody-goody project. Besides, think of it as a chance to talk on the phone for hours to all kinds of people. Look, well, that ranks right up there with licking a frozen metal fence yeah, post. Look, Herbert, I understand your concerns, but this is an idea whose time has come. There's just so much at risk here. If this Teen Hardline program fails... It won't fail. I personally guarantee it. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I've never been one to take chances. Don't worry, Dr. Hobbs. It'll be great. Nobody knows kids' problems like other kids. Like, can they solve them? I have the utmost confidence in these kids. Julian? Hey, look, I'm talking to you. You never listen to a word I say. You're useless. Do you hear that? You're useless! I wish you were never born. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Welcome to the inauguration of the teen hotline. Now, you're gonna be getting all kinds of calls here. Remember, if it's an everyday problem, you feel comfortable in handling yourself, go ahead. But don't be afraid to consult others. If it's just a prankster, dismiss him politely but firmly. But if the problem is serious, refer the caller to an appropriate social agency. Now, if at any time you're not sure what to do, consult an adult supervisor. Any questions? Yeah, something's been bugging me. What do you call those little plastic things at the ends of shoelaces? Oh, did you? <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah, um, when do we get started? Well, how about right now? Hello, Teen Hotline, Kirk speaking. Oh, no, you're not serious. Geez, I don't know. Uh, jump. No! <laughs> What's the big deal? Just want to know the name of that Van Halen tune. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let me see if I can find your best friend's boyfriend wants to break up with your best friend, and your best friend says your boyfriend wants to break up with you. And now your best friend your likes mom your boyfriend. you don't act normal for a teenager? Yeah. Hmm. Well, you could start by throwing clothes all over the floor. And uh, go into your room and song collide. Oh, and before you do anything around the house, act like real put up. It doesn't matter who's do the whole martyr who's wrong. A brother and sister relationship is a very special thing. Why don't you try being real nice to him for a while? And maybe he'll start being nice back. Have you seen none of the ultra disgusting vampire slugs? Now that's cinema. Mozart? I can't believe it. You have even worse taste in music. You sound cute. What's your name? T9 Line, Andrew speaking. It's my dad. I, I, I can barely hear you. Forget it. No, no. I, I want to listen. He's always drunk and I can't handle it. Jeez, that's brutal. He boozes up all the time. Yeah. Well, you did the right thing. You made the call. Now you gotta get help. So what do I do? I'm gonna give you the name of a place. The shelter. You can grab a bike, get cleaned up, grab some seats. Got a pen? 431 Madison Street. Thanks a lot, man. You're okay. Okay. 
Mom, you should have been there. It was a rush, a total rush. Thanks, Aaron. This kid, I don't even know who he was or where he came from. He was just out there by himself with nobody. Unfortunately, there are lots of kids just like him. Thanks, Aaron. It's so amazing what one little phone call can do. I'm so glad this teen hotline is working. Oh, I'm thinking of changing my whole career direction now. Maybe I'll go into psychology or something. No kidding? They started about 40 G's a year. Now, don't get me wrong. I got a lot out of this phone stuff, too. Her name's Amanda. She's one of the most remarkable people I've ever talked to. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. Not a babe, not a chick, but a person? Mom, what's in this meatloaf? I'm serious. She's really different. She actually listens to Mozart outside of elevators. Thanks, Aaron. I don't know. Something weird's going on here. Don't tell me you guys suddenly have a conscience. Speaking of conscience, don't think I haven't noticed you being particularly nice to me tonight. Such attention will not go unrewarded. How about a Hertz donut? Well, thanks, Andrew. Hertz donut. <laughs> <laughs> Please, your attention. Yo, listen up! Thank you. Now, you all know Dr. Hobbs from the community center. And with him are two of the council members who originally uh, <clears throat> voted against the program. <laughs> well, they're all quite keen to see it in operation, so let's show them our best. Really? You tried being nice and he still treated you like that? That's right. I don't know. This brother of yours sounds like a total bonehead. Tell me about it. What you gotta do is command a little respect. Don't tell him read his put downs. Let him know how you feel. Be your own person. Hello, Teen Hotline. Kirk speaking. Oh, no, no, I'm in. I was hoping you'd call again. Uh, listen, you sound too cool to be having these kind of hangups. So, gentlemen, I like this I think we should get together no matter what your dad thinks. Tomorrow, Van Hooks Park, 4.30. Uh, I'll be the tall, dark, and handsome one in a black leather jacket. Teen Hotline, Andrew speaking. It's me. Hey, how's it going? Good to hear from you again. Andrew's one of our best. I can't yeah, believe I listen. listened to you. I don't believe I even called this stupid number in the first place. I'm sleeping on the streets on tap. You, you screwed up my life. But, but what about the shelter? Didn't they help? Oh, they helped, all right. They called my father. Thanks a lot, pal. It's the last time I ever trust anybody. It's not unusual for a shelter to call parents to let them know their kid is safe. But there's no way they would have told this boy's father where he is. Well, why didn't they tell him that? He said he's never going to trust anyone again. You look such an idiot. Andrew, nothing I can say will make you feel any better. All you can do is get back to the phones and hope that he calls again. Forget it. I'm done playing this social worker. I'm out of here. Andrew. Ben, I think we should talk. Andrew, can we talk? Not now. But it's important. Maybe later, okay? No, I think it's important that we talk now. What is it? I'm not going to let you push me around anymore. I'm going to be my own person. Great. Could you be your own person someplace else? Like Guam? Good luck. It's like talking to a wall. Ben called and told me what happened. So much for my career in psychology. Oh, Andrew, it's not your fault and you know it. Oh, it's not likely to give up so easily. Meet the new me. You know, Ben said that boy will probably call back. 
Good, let somebody else ruin his life. He may not want to talk to somebody else. You might not know it, but right now you may be his only hope. Maybe you're right. He may need someone to yell at. Dark and handsome. Amanda? Actually, you're not that tall or dark. What about handsome? Be nice. Handsome? I'll give you an A. Cute? You're a 10. I hate cute. I'll take the 8. <laughs> I hope you're not too freaked out. Because I didn't say anything. We all have our own little secrets. Last summer, I put highlights in my hair. Now, if you tell anybody, I'll give you a flat tire. <laughs> <laughs> you're sweet. So that's it, then. You want to shut us down? No, it's not that I want to. It just might be easier. No second chance? To tell you the truth, Ben, it doesn't look good. My dad thinks that the second I step out of the house, something terrible's gonna happen. I mean, he loves me and everything, but sometimes a little too much. And you can't fight back. I used to try, but you get used to it until... What? Until you find a good reason not to be used to it. How are you on hills? Fast. How are you on stopping? Okay, until my hands start to smoke. Come on, let's see what this thing is like. <laughs> I'll drive. <laughs> Here she is, ladies and gentlemen, the world-famous Amanda, and soon-to-be hotline operator extraordinaire. Oh, my God, the hotline. Kirk, no, I can't. My father. Oh, forget the old fossil for two seconds, will you? Come on. Teen hotline. Um, teen hotline. Nobody's saying anything. Hello? Yeah. Hello, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. It doesn't matter. What doesn't matter? Nothing. Nothing matters. Yeah. I felt like that before. It's him. I've got to talk to him. Uh, hi. I'm the guy you talked to before about the shelter thing. He hung up. Amanda? Uh, hi, Dad. What are you doing here? Why aren't you at home? I, I was just... Wait a minute. What is the big deal? She's just trying to help us out. Son, can't you see she has a problem? No. I don't see a problem. Not with Amanda, anyway. What would you know about it? Come on, Amanda, let's go. No. What? I said no. I want to stay. Honey, you've got limitations. And Kirk dyes his hair. No one's perfect. <laughs> I don't dye my hair. I highlighted it. Once. Teen Hotline. Yeah, may I please speak to that girl? Amanda, there's a call for you. That's right, okay. Okay, thank you. Hello, Teen Hotline. 
Hello? Do you have any idea what I'm going to do? I've sort of got an idea. Do you even care? Of course I care. But you don't know anything about me. No. But maybe I can kind of relate to the way you're feeling. The old bell tower. I'm there. I'm at Try you? to keep him on the line. Believe me, I know how it feels not fitting in. I've been there. Oh, yeah? Do you have a father who beats the crap out of you every single day just for being alive? Someone who takes everything that's ever gone wrong in their lives on you? No, but I know what you mean. I know how it is to feel like you're a burden on everybody. And you're right. Sometimes you wonder if it's worth it. He's very good. It's gonna get better. Yeah. <laughs> I keep telling myself that, but it just gets worse. Hi, I'm the guy who you talk to. Amanda, I found him. Everything's cool. You found him? Yes. to sleep in and mommies who tuck you in at night. And that girl, the girl on the hotline, she said she could relate to me. <laughs> That's a laugh. I don't know. Maybe she can. That girl you talked to, you know what? She's in a wheelchair. She's paralyzed. You think life's been fair to her? She didn't say anything. And then there's me. My dad died when I was 10. That wasn't exactly fair either. But hey, life goes on. But I'm all alone. No, you're not. Now you've got Amanda. Me. You think I'd be up here if I didn't care? Oh, man, I hate heights. <sighs> me too. Hey, I don't even know your name. Julian. Julian, one day you'll look back at this and wonder what you were thinking of. Maybe you'll even write a book about it, make a million bucks. <laughs> I could use a million bucks. That's Clements with a C.
kidding. You've been dating twin brothers for a month and they never told you? I would definitely just go out with one of them from now on. Oh, what should you do with the other one? Is he cute? Then send him to me. You must be very proud of her. Oh, I am. And I think I've solved one of the problems of the ages. How to keep your teenage daughter off your home telephone. <laughs> Line seven. Kirk here. Hold on a second. Hey, why am I suddenly the hair coloring expert around here? <laughs> Teen hotline. I can't believe it. He's still not responding. Look, I know you love your brother and all, but it sounds like you're going to have to give him a taste of his own medicine. Here's what you do. Go out in the yard and gather a huge jar of big, fat, juicy ants. Then dump them in his bed, on his pillow, everywhere. That'll show him. Yes, that's a great idea. I'm going to do that for sure. Thanks a lot, Andrew. Erin?